So this is the second part of the demo showing us how to make the easel card just like this. So in the first part we made our central piece, now we want to make a card to mount it onto. So what I've got here is a simple card blank, this happens to be an 8 by 8 that's already folded and give it a really good score. And I want to choose a die that matches, that's a little bit larger than the actual piece that we're doing because we want plenty of room around it. So I've gone for one here that's quite a bit larger. And what I'm going to do is, this is from the plane again. So I'm going to put the die so that if you can see there, and you can see this better on my mat, I've got half a centimetre, this is on the half centimetre line, and my die is hitting the one centimetre line. And I just want to take that down so that the die is popping up at the top of just around half a centimetre. On a circle or a shape, it's not as important as it is on other dies. However, it does really help to have it nice and even. So we're going to run that one through our die cutting machine. And while that's running through, I'll show you. Here's one I made earlier. So when it comes out, you can see you have the hinge there where the fold was. And all I've done to this card is I've decorated it using some of the stitch dot circles. So I cut a large stitch dot frame in black. And then I use the middle piece from that inside, just so that I've got that little bit of decoration. If I pull out my original card here, you can see the before it's actually been decorated. So we'll peel this off and you'll see quite simply, quite easily, it's happily gone through. This is 300 GSM card, so it's quite happily gone through 600 GSM. But you can see you've got the hinge there. So the main difference is that I've just decorated this one. So all I'm going to do now is fold this one open and so that I've got the top here on the left hand side and I'm going to fold this over so that the circle meets. So we can see there it's so that the circle meets on each edge. It overlaps slightly into where that hinge would be and we're going to give that a little fold there we go, so that we've got then our perfect little fold up piece. So closing that, I'm going to take my topper that we made in the earlier demo. I'm going to add glue just to the bottom half. and I'm going to place that onto there. Now you only want it on the bottom half because when I prop that open, obviously I want it to stand perfectly just like that. I don't want it to be stuck at the top as well. Okay. And then to finish this one off, I've taken my plain dies and some scraps of card. I've just cut some circles in concentric. So white and black, white and black, same as we did for the main stamping element. And this time I'm going to put the stopper just there so that I've got that little stopper. So it holds it up. And I've just made, using the hydrangea die, some little flowers in black and white just to decorate it. So we'll just add those on as well. And again, adds that little bit more interest. So we'll have one there, one tucked in just there. And I think we might have, we'll have one on that little stopper, shall we? Every time I make this, I make it slightly differently. So just let my glue go off but there we go very simple easel card made using the circle dies the plane and the stitch dot to match with our beautiful triple layer stamped